Among the many books in the Bible that address life's profound questions, the book of Exodus is the story of God rescuing the children of Israel from Egypt and forging a special relationship with them. Exodus picks up where Genesis leaves off. It is the second book of the Torah, the collection of the first five books of the Bible traditionally attributed to Moses. Here we find the stories of the ten plagues, the first Passover, the parting of the Red Sea, and the giving of the Ten Commandments. The book of Exodus in the King's James Version contains 40 chapters, 1,213 verses, and approximately 32,685 words. Exodus reveals deep truths about freedom, justice, and divine guidance, addressing fundamental human concerns such as liberty, moral law, and the divine relationship. Mahatma Gandhi once said, the moral teachings of the Ten Commandments are the essence of religion and are still applicable to all mankind. Enslaved under the Egyptians for generations, the Israelites cried out in despair, having lost their identity, dignity and hope. In his mercy, God heard their cries and raised up Moses, once lost in the wilderness, to lead them to freedom. This was not just one man's calling, but the fulfillment of God's promise to Abraham. Isaac and Jacob to give their descendants a land of their own. Through ten powerful plagues, God broke the grip of Egypt and as the Israelites left, he parted the Red Sea, allowing them to cross safely while the waters consumed the enemies. As Moses boldly declared, let my people go, the divine intervention ensured the liberation and the realization of God's promise. Yet their physical liberation was only the beginning. God did not free them from the chains of Egypt just to leave them without direction. He brought them to Mount Sinai to give them something far greater, a law, a moral code, a covenant. On that mountain God descended in fire and smoke and from the heavens he spoke as he declared in Exodus 19 verse 5, Now if you obey me fully and keep my covenant, then out of all nations you will be my treasured possession. He gave his people the Ten Commandments, not merely as rules to follow, but as the foundation for a new society rooted in justice, righteousness and holiness. These were not human laws, but divine commands, timeless decrees meant for all of humanity. The Ten Commandments are universal principles that continue to guide us even today. So what do these Ten Commandments represent? They are not a set of restrictions to limit us, but a path to true freedom. Freedom with responsibility. The commandments reveal God's character, His justice, His holiness, His love. And they call to reflect that character in our own lives. God freed the Israelites from physical slavery, but He also sought to free them from spiritual bondage. Without a moral compass, freedom becomes chaos. Without divine law, society descends into injustice. The Ten Commandments provide the compass, the moral foundation on which just societies must be built. The first four commandments center on a relationship with God. Thou shalt have no gods before me, meaning God alone is sovereign. No other power, ideology or deity should take his place in our lives. Thou shalt not make for thyself an idol, meaning a relationship must remain pure, free from mainstream and false representation of the divine. Thou shalt not misuse the name of the Lord thy God, meaning God's name is holy, deserving of the utmost reverence and respect. Remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy, meaning this command calls us to represent the trust in God's provision, rest in Him and remember His creative and redemptive power. The last six commandments focus on a relationship with others. Honor thy father and mother, meaning the family is the cornerstone of society. By honoring our parents, we uphold the fabric of social order. Thou shalt not murder, meaning life is sacred, a gift from God, and no one has the right to take it unjustly. Thou shalt not commit adultery, meaning faithfulness in marriage reflects God's unwavering faithfulness to His people. Thou shalt not steal, meaning respect for others' property is essential for justice and fairness. Thou shalt not give false testimony, meaning truth is the foundation of trust, and trust is the foundation of a functioning society. Thou shalt not covet, meaning contentment fosters peace, while envy breeds division and strife. 
These commandments create a blueprint for justice, guiding us to live with integrity, both in our relationship with God and with one another. The application remains equal and universal for all people, reinforcing the importance of justice, mercy and truth in our world. Prominent advocates such as Martin Luther King Jr., John Adams, Sir Isaac Newton, Albert Einstein and Ronald Reagan have highlighted the enduring moral and ethical significance of these texts. They have recognized their foundational role in promoting justice, guiding personal conduct and shaping legal and societal values across history and cultures. Moreover, the book of Exodus has influenced the English language with terms like Exodus for a mass departure, mana for unexpected benefits and burning bush for divine revelation. Golden calf represents idolatry, Pharaoh denotes a tyrannical leader and let my people go symbolizes a call for freedom. The promised land refers to a place of anticipated fulfillment while the parting of the waters describes overcoming great obstacles. Plague signifies widespread calamities and covenant represents a solemn agreement with thou shalt not reflecting the strict prohibitions of the Ten Commandments. The book of Exodus contains many lesser known facts that add depth to its narrative. Moses had a speech impediment, so his brother Aaron spoke on his behalf. Two Hebrew midwives, Shipra and Fua, defied Pharaoh's orders to kill male infants, playing a key role in saving the Israelites. Moses' staff, a simple shepherd's tool, was used to perform miracles, and the Israelites left Egypt with wealth after borrowing from their neighbors. God's name I Am signifies his eternal nature. The Passover lamb symbolizes salvation, while Pharaoh's heart being hardened by both his own will and God raises theological questions. The original Ten Commandments were broken by Moses in anger and manna. The bread from heaven was a temporary provision. Finally, Moses was 80 years old at the time of the Exodus, demonstrating that age did not limit his leadership role. As it says in Exodus 23 2, Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil, neither shalt thou speak in a cause to decline, after many to rest judgment. By advocating for fairness, being a voice of truth, showing compassion to those in need and caring for the environment, we embody the spirit of the Ten Commandments. Through these practical steps, we can help build a world of hope, peace and righteousness.